yeah, what I wanted to talk about was, you know, just to get some of this stuff, um, you know, straightened out, not only in my mind, but in the world's mind about what's going to come next and what I'm going to be doing and, and to what capacity. You know, I see something, uh, you know, the other day somebody wrote a message on my YouTube page again, and I'm not sure if it's the same person, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same idea and concept and, and something that I I know a lot about. And they ask, you know, why uh, do you never talk about spiritual warfare anymore? And, you know, the, for sure, the, the number one reason to that is, is that, you know, before people can start talking about going to battle or, you know, they need to defeat what's going on inside. You know, they need to win the war within and, you know, so talking to them about external issues and what's going on in the external world is putting a burden on them that they're in no way ready to bear. And when you're an adept, you know that. So for anyone asking that question, there's your answer. The second level of this is that, you know, I realize in my own journeys, you know, the higher you get into the vibrations, you can the more you can see because you start becoming unified. So you're us- you're using all of the eyes in the world like the eyes from people, the eyes from insects, the eyes from dolphins and in their consciousness and their their reality and what they discovered and even their power and their energy. So when you go into these higher frequencies, if you may, you know, this is what you experience, but you also experience like this acceleration of your own consciousness and this animation of any kind of ideas or eidolons that are going on in your your own consciousness, meaning you get into a field to where anything that you think you begin to see and even if you're looking at something else it begins to change into that and you know and that that's the power of our being however how many people are really ready for that kind of ability like we we know it exists i've experienced it myself several times and in fact it is what i work the most to push through when i'm in my own experiences because at at that point where whatever you think is whatever is if your mind is not balanced and harmonic or if you're somehow having an issue holding the energy even. So a lot of people, when they talk about these situations, they never experienced them before. They don't know that. So when you get into that frequency, you also feel that frequency in your body. So it's extremely intense. It's like somebody just cut on a thousand volts inside of you. And this is what's giving the chakras the energy to give you this ability to amplify to this level of perception. So these are very simple mechanics. Uh, uh, so the thing is, is that I find now that all of the things that I've seen and all the things that I, that I believed and everything that I know has to, actually comes to the forefront of a very creative imagination that has more than one channel in which to express itself. It has the image, so it can use its images and geometry as a canvas. But what's going to happen when all of these younger kids, like, you know, I see, again, the development in the game industry because that's where you still have millions of kids. And basically the what we would need to get to before we can ever say that we're making an impact on expanding consciousness. You have millions of these children in here watching these games. And, you know, when you look at these games these days, you know, there's just, you know, these huge, horrible monsters with their skin off and, you know, oozing at the mouth and large teeth. And, you know, have you have these aliens from other planets and these hexagonal structures and, you know, all these geom- this geometry and things being used in, in, in a connection to alien and, and destruction. And you must fight this and you must kill this. And, you know, and then you're going to die by it. And you got to spawn again and you come back. You know, you see intricate stories that go across different worlds and planets and other other constellations and systems. And you see all this going on and this is all happening in the child's mind. So what happens when that child gets to the phase of where I'm at right now? where they have to be an adept and they have to know what comes next and what to do. And when they turn on those abilities, you have all of that that you put into your imagination and you put into your consciousness to now break through for you to get to all in the vein that all is self. So you see how this is really designed. So when you're talking about spiritual warfare, the war is going on now at this moment and it's happening in a place that few adults or adepts are even paying attention. And that's with their children and their children's minds. And it's just, this is not about even, hey, turn that off. This is about, hey, we need to have a talk. And that's the big thing about this now. Right now, it's not about just trying to isolate your kids or isolate your family or isolate whatever from all of this that's going on in the reality. Because it's, it's seeping through the pores. It's seeping, seeping through the cracks. We need to know how to solve and how to neutralize any force. 
And that's what's the most important thing. And that's what we're doing. That's how we're bringing it. Wholeness.